to another uh, Goggles 56 tutorial and this one is going to be, uh, we're going to have a foot in both games here. We're going to uh, um, pull a track from ATS and put it in ETS, set it up and uh, we're even going to do a trailer. Now not all trailers work but uh, we're going to try it anyway. And um, so this is ETS and there's the Overfloater K100. Now I'll show you the one in uh, Steam Workshop for ETS doesn't work and I'll show you that right now. We'll go to, uh, we'll exit out, we'll go to, um, let's it, exit out to here, to the launch pad, look in the workshop, or mod manager I guess, <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to say. Let's just, come on baby, you can do it, here we go. So there's the one from Steam, uh, for, and this is the one I put in there. And you see, I just call Harvin K100E. I don't know what the default name is. What do they call it? Kenworth K100E by Overfloater. Or, sorry, Overfloater. So I just, and I'll show you how to do this and bring it in. And we're going to bring a, another vintage truck in and a trailer. And we're going to use it in, um, I'm going to use it in the next video. So let's get started. So we get out of here. Now we're going to just Alt Tab to the desktop. So Alt Tab. Now minimize our recording software. And what we want to do? So we're going to go and get this truck. Let's let's build a couple folders first. Make it simple. So in my uh, local disk, where I have everything in my ETS trucks. Uh, ATS trucks, I'm going to put, uh, oh, I already did put a folder here, Smarties 350. Well, let's delete this. So I'll show you how we went and got it. And what we're going to do, we're going to put a couple things in here so we can take them over to ETS. And we're going to grab them from ATS. So first thing we do, we get into our, you know, we're logged into Steam. And from home, we're in ATS, go to the workshop, and I think this truck is the most popular thing out there. It is right there, most popular. But if you were looking for it, like you could just type the search in here, you know, Smarties or put in 350 or whatever, but it's right there. So let's take advantage of it, just grab it. But the search window is your friend here. And for the trucks that are really popular, like for example, if you went for most popular and up here you click on this and you click most popular all time, if you're looking for the overflow to K100, there it is. It's super popular. Smarties Wheel Pack, you know, these are the things, Harvins FLB. So if you want if you want the things that have been around a while you're going to get the older stuff here. So a lot of these are older mods and you're going to find your older trucks. So we put, there's Harvard's uh, Ar Argosy, this international HX520. I really like that truck actually. For a modern truck, it's got neat lines. Uh, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's go back. Um, most popular, let's go one week. And Smarties truck should be, wow, it's not the most popular in the last week. Let's go, wow, most subscribed in one week, let's try that. Oh, how, how do we get to, I'm ah, really messing this up. Most subscribed, most recent, you know. Oh, now I really messed that up. Okay, so now we got to search for it. Well, I'm going to grab this one. This is the trailer we want. I'm subscribed to it in ATS. So here's what you got to do. If you see it, you can't click here and get the copy page URL. That's not going to work. So you got to click on the mod, bring it up to this screen. You're going to go right click. We're going to copy the page URL. We're going to go down here. We're going to get Notepad going. I'm going to paste it in here. So there's the URL for that. We need that. So what we could do is uh, 
Just put it in front of it so we don't get confused. Trailer. And now we're going to put another line down here. Truck. And now, minimize that. Let's go back. Go to our search. Smarty 350. Let's try that. Come on. I'm uh, missing the darn thing. There it is. Okay. So now we've clicked on it. We can right click it now that we got it up. Copy the page URL. We'll go find our notepad. Paste that in there. There we go. So now what we want to do is we want to find those two things in the folder that they get put in. I'll show you where that is. I have in other videos, but if you haven't seen them, we'll do it again. Um, and in here, this number, not that ampersand at the end, but the number ahead of that. And here, those are the numbers of the mods. So we got to go find those mods because they're in a folder. Like when you subscribe to that, so I've subscribed to this skin, what it does is it puts it in a directory on your C drive. And when Steam updates mods and everything happens and, you know, in the background, it automatically updates them. And that's the beauty of Steam mods. You don't have to go and get an update or whatever. It, it just gets updated. But because we're taking, this mod doesn't exist in ETS. So we can't just go and take this skin and we can't just go and put it in our folder for ETS. This is not, not going to work. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to peel a layer off it and drop it into our mod folder as a mod. So I'll show you how to do that. So first thing we're going to do is grab the trailer. So we got to highlight the bit right up to the ampersand. We're going to go Control C, copy it. Now we're going to go to our, uh, I'm just going to go to my desktop. I think I have a shortcut here. Oh, here we go. So I made a shortcut and I'll show you the path. So, C, uh, Programs x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, 270, 880. So this is where all your ATS mods go. This one here, 227, 300, that's where all your ETS mods go. And this one, not 100% sure. <laughs> uh, I never mess with it. I don't even know what's in there. I haven't even looked in it because... These are the two I use, Steam, uh, ETS, Steam, ATS. So the 278.80 is where we got to go. So we're going to go in here and we're going to paste in here that number. This is getting us the trailer. All right. And so here's the trailer. I always let this green thing run out just in case you don't want to grab this too early, just in case it leaves some data behind. There it goes. Now we're going to copy this. So we'll uh, copy. We'll go to our folder where we made earlier. Smarties 350, we'll call it. We're going to put, uh, we'll just paste this in here, the trailer. And let's go and get the truck while we're hot here. So we got to get the number for the truck right up to there. Copy that. Go into our 880 folder and we're going to change the search to that new number and let it finish its thing here. So you got to bear in mind like over here I'm not you know I wouldn't normally put the trailer in the truck folder but I'm just you know because I don't want to drag this out forever so we could just drag this and put it over here copy to here and you don't want to cut it out of here because that would be a mistake uh, so we can close this folder we don't need it anymore we don't need this anymore we don't need to save it unless you want to save those n numbers anyway so we know this is the trailer because we put it in first oh it's the truck <laughs> it went on top sorry it went off it went numerically i guess it sorted it so this is uh let's go up a level so this is what Steam knows it by. And we can't just put this into our mod folder. It's not going to make sense. Um, so what we have to do, we're going to double click it. 
we're going to go in here and it's got a name on it universal well this is how steam recognizes mods when they're loaded uploaded it's going to all the mods like all the skins i've done they're going to say universal.zip and version that's just a given so what we have to do is change this so we're going to rename it and uh this is the trailer so we're going to go rename and we're going to call it and this is i think it's called big red trailer or big red we will call it big red and there we go okay so that's done so what we're going to do uh we can just uh, leave that right there for now we'll go back to here and this should be the truck and there it is and it's called scs peterbilt underscore 350 zip it's already got a distinctive name and it's a zip file and if we right clicked it and let's show more options seven zip open archive okay so it doesn't have another name in here so if in here what we saw was smarty's peterbilt 350 and as a single folder with a dot scs that is what we would put in steam or our mod uh, folder but because this is all of the folders behind here we don't want to mess with any of this so we just close that and this is going to go in our mod folder so what we can do over here is you know we can just because we've got two things to copy we'll just open this in a the our euro truck simulator we'll go to mod we're just going to drag this in here so we'll copy it in here there it goes we'll go up here and we're going to open that and big red dot zip that we renamed that we'll drag that in there now we got those in our uh hopefully this is i'm not going too fast because it's pre pretty basic really it's the peeling them out of the uh 27880 folder so let's go in here now to the mod manager see what we got oh there's big red just like we named it and this one we didn't rename but we have them in here now awesome and so you can see i've done it with a few skins that's the truck i'm driving right now and oh i didn't put that one in or i did but i don't have it in this profile we did a video with that one i love that skin there it's awesome anyway so we got this the trailer and we got the truck now so let's take the trailer we'll just click it quick click to the bottom then move it up to the top of the trucks go back to the top grab that throw it in the bottom we're good so you know mod order sort it out now uh we'll continue the game and yeah, we'll go see if the trailer worked or not <laughs> i've brought trailers in I haven't done it. Yeah, you know, I haven't done them in videos because I didn't. I didn't know if people would be interested. But I see that the videos with the K100 seem to be pretty popular, and I don't know if it's because the K100 is popular or because it's bringing the trucks in. People want to get the handle on that. But anyway, let's have a look here and see if we can buy this truck and trailer. So there's. I love this truck, man. It's so good. I don't know i'm just going to look at it again sorry <laughs> and it doesn't look bad that's the short wheelbase which seems short in ats but is plenty long in ets and uh you know the difference in the roads and if you didn't know the purpose of the long wheelbase is well it gets extreme and it gets silly like 350 inches is ridiculous 300 is a really nice ride so what it is is if you can imagine your truck i don't know how i can i can't simulate it here but if you have a really short wheelbase and the front end hits a bump the the truck pitches like this quite sharply and then the back it hits quite sharply so you're getting a forward back motion of the driver in the seat especially in a cab over you're sitting up really high so you're going you know, you, you know forward and back forward and back you get a really long wheelbase and the truck has a much more gentle up at the front and a much more gentle up delayed it takes longer to hit the back bump and so what you're doing is you're going up and down you're not pitching back and forth 
So there's a reason for the long wheelbase other than looks. It's a much better ride on the big open highways of North America. And so that's why. Anyway, I digress. Let's go see if we can buy this trailer and truck. So, uh, well, I guess we might as well buy a truck, put the trailer on. Mod. Now, the icon doesn't show up here, which is, okay, well, that's the way it is. So there's the uh, Kenworths, and there's the Peterbilt. Now, it's going to come over here. It's not going to have the default wheels on it, which is, you know, you look at it and go, oh, man, this isn't working. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is trying to put that Pack to Rota stuff on there. And we're going to use Pack to Rota's tires. And uh, I'll put a link in the description for what's in this mod. But anyway, let's make a truck. See if we can drive it. So for the cab, I like the real old one. We'll save the day cab because uh, uh, just to keep the length of the... Uh oh almost sneezed. Uh... We want to keep the length of the thing down so it's reasonable. So for chassis, we got this tandem axle. And I think what we're going to do, they have two different uh, rear drive axle configurations with this truck. And I think this one has a double reduction in it. Well, actually, you can even see it. So the drive shaft comes through this way. It'll run a worm gear drive to here and then a dr drive down here. So there's one gear here, there's another gear here driving a gear there. That's a lot of reduction going on. So we'll try this one. So this SQHD with stable air. See, it's got a conventional drive shaft arrangement. So you got one pinion driving one crown gear. So there's less reduction on this rear end. So we're going to use that one. Now, what do we want to do? Let's doll this baby up. Oh, we got to give it an engine. Let's give it, what do we got? Cummins, 475 horsepower. Well, that should do the trick. It's not a lot by ETS standards, but I know ETS has a lot more power, generally. And we're going to get the lowest numeric ratio, 13 speed. We'll try that. And we're going to see how that works. I'm not a big fan of that really light interior. Paint. We're just going to make it a nice metallic deep red. Yeah, that's nice. It looks good. Okay, here's where we get the wheels. So what we're going to do, I have um, I have this mod pack in here. Uh, I'll put a, a um, link to it. Chroma. No, I don't want those wheels. My God, what am I doing? I want... Um, these ones, I can't remember what this uh, pack is. We'll look at it in the uh, mod manager. They always look pretty good. Uh, they're a little bit shiny, but uh, I wonder if they have a matte version. How matte is matte? Hmm, I've never tried that before. I wish they had a polished version in between. And they have the Trilex wheels too, which are pretty cool. But... I think I'll just go with the shiny. What the heck? Might as well have a good looking truck. And now we see the lug nuts and everything are all out of place here. So what we got to do is go find the lug nuts for this. And they are these ones here. So there, that's sorted them out. And for a center cap, I don't know where the cap is. See, they, they got all these European ones here. And they aren't what we want. So because we have the 24-5 wheel pack in here, uh, we're going to use their dome cap from the 24-5s. And for the tires, it's got this Goodyear on here, but I like the Michelin. It's not a, quite as shiny. Looks a little better. What's this one? What, uh, what looks better? Well, that might even look better with less reflective glare on it. Let's do the back. So we want that chrome wheel with the holes. That one. Get rid of the packed Arota hubs, because, I mean, you wouldn't have had this air balance system <laughs> back in the day. So the hub, number two standard, number four paint. 
let's try the number four paint and uh, no cap because there's not a like we could put the these caps on there but i i don't really like them i don't know i i don't like it covers the whole axle hub i like just a cap on the end or nothing but that's just me you guys do what you like i'm gonna put the little longer lug nut on there because get a little maybe it'll show a little better in the depth of the wheel we'll get that michelin tire it's a little dull oh geez doesn't fit very good does it how about that one that one fits the rim a little better shoot they're so big yeah they're not fitting the rim too good darn it what else do we have Let's see, oh, I know, the regional Goodyear. So if you click the search and go REG, regional Goodyear, that fits the rim. It's kind of big, but 295.60, too small. Okay, I'm going to go with that one. So we'll put, while well, we have this selected, see, so you, you can't search anything else while you have that, so we might as well put the tire on right away on the back, and we'll get rid of that. We'll go to the rim. That was the number five chrome. Right there. Get rid of that hub. Now, which one were we on? I think it was that one. Yeah. And we go back, get the lug nuts. Put the long ones on. There we go. And you got to go over here to get the mud flap. See, and you're on the back. It just gives you that. And you go this way, and there we got mud flaps. So we've got a Cummins engine, Cummins mud flaps. We're starting to really get style in here with this thing. So, I don't need a banner, I need a bumper. Chrome taper, looks right on an old truck. Pull bar. We'll leave it on there for a minute. It's chrome, dull, open, chrome, open. So open and closes the shutters. So you can see the way the older trucks work. I even owned it, speaking old. My first Ford Louisville had shutters. And they open and close with the temperature. With the, it's essentially like your thermostat. Open and closing the add on the shutters. And it's really handy for when it's cold out, like here in Canada in the winter, to have the shutters closed until the engine's warmed up it's preventing all that cold air from getting onto the radiator and uh, what's neat is i painted a cool cartoon character on my shutter so when they would close the cartoon character would pop into view and then when they'd open he'd disappear it's kind of cool uh headlights uh, he's got them dull so we're gonna go chrome why not have the shiny loves the shiny a little visor on there go with the five lights a nice mirror let's change the air cleaners to classic chrome do something with oh that's the door handle it's dull so let's go chrome exhaust Five inch single with a muffler. Looks about right. Oh, can we get a miter on that? There we go. I like the tip is blackened off properly with a little staining below it there. Looks good. Uh, I'll jazz up the steps a little bit. This is not all important. I don't know why I'm doing all this. But um, let's just have a quick peek inside. I'll change that bright steering wheel for this one. I don't think we have any. See, that doesn't show up, right? Because whatever, I have to look at it a little bit more to see what to bring over. But anyway, that's, we got a truck. Oh, GPS. Find out if this works or not. And I think that's good. Confirm it. I'll purchase that. Now, where do we want to put it? Oh, Innsbruck. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we'll put it there. It doesn't really matter. I might do a trip up the mountain later. I don't know. I'd have to soup up the engine. 
that's another video. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can get that trailer. If it, if it works. XBS trailers. There it is. Look at that. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Uh, no option on chain type. You do have that option in... So, so these options aren't coming across. Well, that's too bad. You can do a double or a triple. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can make it work. Throw it on the truck. Oh, wrong truck. But, uh, yeah, we haven't switched to the other truck yet. So there's the paint. I don't think we have any other options coming across, but we have a trailer. A nice old trailer is going to go really good with that Smarties truck. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay, so confirm. Let's purchase it. The trick is going to be see if we can get a load. I'll put it in here. I've got our trailer. We'll go to driver manager. To dude and relocate him to Innsbruck. Okay, trailer manage trailer manager over here. Go use. It's been attached. Awesome. We're gonna find out right away. Uh, I guess I'm gonna look and see if we can get a job. Ha! <laughs> look at that. Jobs. And um, oh, well, we haven't discovered anything in the Innsbruck yet. So. But there's jobs, so what we should do, let's do this. I'm going to just go over here for giggles and just have a look at it, see how it looks with these tire choices and stuff. Yeah, the front, uh, those wheels are awfully bright, but uh, it's reasonable. We got that nice deep red. It matches on the truck and trailer pretty good. Sweetness. So, what we could do is uh, let's try just quick traveling here oh it's just down the road but uh, to save time we'll just quick travel over so i don't uh, drag this video on oh i can't quick travel there so we're in oh sorry go back to the map get the spelling of this innsbruck okay let's drive Oh, that's not what I needed to do. So. Oh, Inspect Discovered. Look at that. Oh, there's a little trick. Wow. Okay, so now we can get a job. Wow, who knew? So just go uh, zero. It'd be zero on, your, zero on your keyboard up above the keys. If you hit that, go under the truck, and then do Control F9. It discovered the city. Wow, too cool. So Innsbruck to Salzburg, 233, Milan, Italy. Oh, there's a nice trip. Okay, I'm going to make that the uh, today's video, I think. Oh, I've got to reset the time. Anyway, so I'm getting sidetracked. Let's uh, wrap it here. And uh, this should uh, give you an idea how you can bring a mod from ATS into ETS. Now, the one thing to bear in mind because we've taken the truck and the trailer out of the uh, folder for, um, you know, the uh, 27880 folder where the uh, content is, it's not going to get updated. So if this truck got updated in ATS, you wouldn't get the update in Steam. Uh, or sorry, you wouldn't get the update into your ETS mod folder. You would have to go and do this same process again. But you see how easy it is. Like in all reality, it's it's a doddle. You just you know grab the uh, folder out of that uh, uh, the the mod file out of that 27880 folder. Go in one layer, as I showed you, and if it's called Universal, give it the name you want. Like in this case, Big Red. Drag it into your uh, ETS mod folder, and off you go. And uh, bear in mind, it doesn't work with everything. But, uh, you know, this was right off the bat. We got these two things in here, plus can get jobs. So um, I'll leave it at that. And 
call it a wrap. If there's, uh, uh, if you have questions or whatever, ask away. And uh, I do have other tutorials out there that um, may answer some of your questions. If you want to look at those, I'll provide a link to the tutorial uh, channel as well. Anyway, thanks for following along as always. I really appreciate it and uh, hope you got something out of it. Take care and bye for now.